how can one be sure that this is from God and not from just like any other people writing about it? The Egyptians wrote about God of the underworld, God of the overworld. In the Eastern religions, they talk about many gods. God incarnates into a demigods and semi-gods and so on, right? So, because you don't believe in any of, one of them, there's a reason why you don't believe in them. There is, you have made some particular methodology, methodology criteria to establish, which is indeed a revelation from God. So when we read a book which says, you know what, God is so afraid because man is speaking one language. And, and they came together in the land of Shinar in the east, and they're building tall sky, skyscrapers. And God is saying, you know what, man, is doing that, let us go down and scatter them and confuse them. God becomes so scared because he says... No, he wasn't scared. He says... He was not can scared. Can I finish? Don't can use I finish? that word. Don't use that word. God is so Perfect. concerned. Why do you believe in such a book? Which describes God, no, someone no. who is very concerned that man will do everything that they imagine to do. He says nothing will be impossible for them to do That's whatever right. they want to do. That's right. In the belief at that time, they believed if you build tall skyscrapers, oh, you can ascend to the sky and you can overthrow God. Yeah. How can God be so concerned and says nothing will be impossible for them to do that they will overthrow God? And he comes down and he confuses them. And that's why you have people speaking in different languages. In contrast, what does Allah say in the Quran right, did about... He, did he get, what does did he Allah get, say in the Quran about an people speaking different languages? He says this an is one of the signs. Yeah, we are, we, I know we have, one we of have, the signs of Allah is that He gave to, us in different languages, made us in different tribes, so that we recognize each other. But in the Bible, it's the opposite. God confused people, that's why they speak different languages, because if they spoke the same language, and if they were together in one place, they will do something that God is so concerned about. Nothing will be impossible for them to do. According to the Eastern mythology, we know we have texts older than the Bible, which they believe that you can build tall skyscrapers, go up in heaven, and you can overthrow God. This is a reminiscent that we find in the Genesis account, in which it describes by a human being who's writing it, that God can be overthrown by people, human beings, who speak the same language and who are united and building tall skyscrapers. That is why I would say this particular information in Genesis, in the Hebrew Bible, in the Christian and Jewish texts, is not something that you can accept to be divine. Just like another example about the Noah's flood. Do you know why there's a rainbow in the sky? Madam, do you know why there's a rainbow in the sky sometimes? The rainbow is placed as a sign of a covenant that whenever God is about to destroy mankind, the biblical God, about to destroy mankind again through his anger. When God looks at the rainbow, it will remind him. No, God don't need a reminder. He doesn't need a reminder. That's what it says. No, he never said that. Oh, do you have a Bible? Never said that. On the phone. On the not, phone. Re not remind God. Right. Remind I would like us. to now show you. Remind us. That will us. be sensible, right? Us. That will be sensible. Us, yes. But what if, madam, you find that this reminder is only not for, is not for us, it's but for, for God? Why does he need reminder? Exactly. I agree with you. Let's read the Bible. Genesis 9, but I can't remember the verse. Here, here. He's talking to you, right? No, I'm talking to you, madam. No, no, Look here. No, NG, NG. Mother. Here, here. <laughs> Come on, mother. Be fair. Talk with him. Okay. okay. No, here, here. Carry on. And God says, and God says, no, I'm reading the Bible for you, so at least you know what is going on here. <laughs> when I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you, every living creature of all f flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God will remember. So the lady agreed okay, yeah, with us yeah, yeah. why would god need reminding but this is precisely what the bible says i wish that god opens our heart to understand this passage which she agrees wholeheartedly that this is not what god is